I just still think there's a major, there's always an avenue for victory uh, in Virginia for our candidates at the state, local, and, and federal level. And, and so much of uh, the, the essence of our Republican basis in places like Amherst County. So you have these kind of stakes about something so fundamental after the 240 years now of the American experiment, something so fundamental to what we're, what the direction of the United States is, uh, that it is absolutely uh, the ongoing most important elections uh, of, our, of our lifetime. We're, I, I think, uh, in a really good spot right now uh, in Virginia for, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is we have uh, truly a phenomenal, uh, a phenomenal leader in Virginia government. Uh, George and I know a little bit about that job, but I mean, Glenn Youngkin is a man of uh, a remarkable integrity, uh, a deep man of faith, uh, a very decisive person, but, you know, like George and I try to be, he's a happy warrior. He knows what he believes in, he's going to be positive, optimistic, he's got the Reagan sunny view of how we can work together and solve problems. That doesn't mean he's going to compromise on stuff that he believes in deeply, but he's going to try to find a way to get to yes, he's going to try to find a problem, problem solver without capitulating on any of his principles. And so with his vast business experience, you can see on everything from economic development, job creation, uh, taxes and spending, education reform. I mean, he is deeply, fundamentally, persistently committed to seeing positive reforms in Virginia. Try to win by ideas. And I think that's what, what Bob was trying to say is that you persuade people with our ideas and be respectful for folks and talk to them and try to reason with them. And, and it's great to see here in Amherst County, and I know there's some folks here from Nelson, and in some parts of Virginia, you have local Commonwealth attorneys who look at the criminal as the victim. Put in truth and sentencing. Rapists before them were getting about three years in prison, and so many of them would, would rape again. They had the worst recidivist repeat offender rate. Now it's 11 years. And if, if they're serving behind bars, they're not lurking in some parking garage to rape someone again. And so people care about safety in their neighborhoods, their communities, their schools, their places of work or where they shop.